What's going on YouTube? Today we are doing the Tri-Pyramids, two of the 4,000 footers for the New England 67. It's supposed to be on the more challenging side uh, for the hikes, but I'm doing Sabaday Brook Trail, not Livermore Trail, which is the more challenging one, I believe. So we're going to see what the trail's like. I'm excited to check it out. Let's get into it. So I've never been on this mountain before, obviously it's my first time, but Haven, I haven't really in introduced her before, but she's been on the channel a couple times. She's my good friend and hiking partner. Um, she's actually been up here before, but she didn't make the summit, right? I did not, no. It's actually the first time that I turned around on a mountain, but it was a pretty good experience because I think it's important to know it's better for you to return to the trail head and back to safety than it is to make the summit. So I came in February and I was wearing snowshoes because it was pretty icy and stuff and um, so the trail here doesn't have very many blazes and we've been able to follow it okay today because the path is pretty easy to see and kind of follow but in the winter when it was all icy and covered with snow it was a lot harder. So it took some extra time to find the trail if I got off of it. I broke one of my snowshoes on the way up here um, and the weather just wasn't looking great. I had hoped that I had a bigger window in the morning to get up and down before I knew the snow was gonna start. But because I lost the trail a few times and kinda had some snowshoe problems, I didn't make it up in as much time as I wanted. And so I got to about where we are right now and just didn't feel good about it. I just kind of had a gut feeling and it was getting a lot harder to see the trail. It was snowing and I wanted to make sure that I could get down safely. So I turned around after hiking like 
five miles in, which was kind of sad. I think we're only like maybe a mile or so away from the summits at this point. Yeah. So it was kind of a bummer to be so close um, and to have to turn around, but I was glad that I knew I could trust myself to like make the right decision. So I'm happy to be back and it's really beautiful right now in the summer and I would have missed out on that if I had just made the push and I don't know if I would have been okay. So yeah. Yeah. So here we are. <laughs> yeah, you made the right choice. Yeah. I know uh, the closest I ever got to having to turn around on a mountain was on Mount Jefferson. You know, we hit it. It was downpouring rain in Maine, where I'm from, but uh, we got to New Hampshire and it wasn't raining, but it was really foggy. And we got up there, we got above the tree line, and you couldn't even really see from one cairn to the next one. So I was just following the GPS on my phone and we were able to make it to the summit but we had to kind of get to a decision point of okay is this going to be safe to continue on or should we turn around so we don't get lost but um, we made it that time as of yet you know I, i've climbed 37 of these and i haven't had to turn around yet which i'm very thankful for but it's definitely a bummer when you have to but we're gonna conquer the tri-pyramids today so <laughs> onward
middle tri-pyramid. Now we just have to hit the north peak and we'll have two 4,000 footers today. Pyramid 39 out of 67. The tri pyramids are done. Ended up being 12 miles total and 3,200 feet of vertical gain. It was probably the second longest day hike I've done, um, so more a test on the stamina, you know, just of going all those miles than a challenge. I expected it to be more challenging, but we didn't go up the slide um, because we took the Sabaday Brook Trail, so I think that made it quite a bit easier. I am glad to have them checked off my list, and I'm excited for the next video, so make sure you stay tuned for what's next. Until then, stay inspired, stay creative, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.